Hey yo, what's going on people? Welcome to another video. Today, we're out on the river. I'm out on the boat for the first time. Super thankful for that. Finally got it done, but I have a few big, big, big shout outs to some people real quick. Perry's High Tech for taking care of the boat. Always does a great job. If you guys are in the Atlanta area, near Lake Lanier, you need to hit up Perry's High Tech. We'll take care of you. Yamaha, obviously. We got that thing all set up, all ready, good to go. And also Isaac, um, he actually drove my boat down. He was driving somewhere and he actually towed it down to Savannah for me, especially delivered it. So big shout out to him. But today we're out on the river and our main goal today is to obviously catch some bass. I've actually been fishing for a little bit. I'm filming the intro a little bit late. We've caught some mudfish, and so we're trying to hunt for some big bass. The biggest thing today and the biggest problem is there was a full moon last night. So the fishing is very, very tough. But let me show you who I got with me. So I got old Chance. You guys haven't seen Chance in a while. You know me and him fish a ton of tournaments out here. It's been a minute, dude. It's been a been a hot minute. And then obviously Alan Bob. Alan Bob's always out with us. I don't know. He's he's a loser anyways, but let's go ahead and try to go catch some fish. Oh, he's right there. Dude, that's a bass. Oh, he came off. Dude, what in the world just happened there? That was something. Dude, that, I don't... Mad convinced. Mad convinced that was a big bass. There he is. Get him. Sick him. Sick him, boy. Sick him. He's... Oh my god! There's no way that's a bass. Oh god, a <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> oh man. Want me to get it? I can hear I get you, Bob. Oh, that thing sprayed me, dude. Ugh. No, <laughs> you got a warm mouth on it? Let me see that thing. Hold up to the GoPro. <laughs> no world, dude. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bro, I've literally lost every fish I hook set today. You understand that? I've hook set on three fish. And I've lost every one. I mean, my eyes go to the back of my head. Yeah, that's a bass. Yeah, it's a bass, and my bait didn't even hit the bottom yet. Oh, fat guy, ain't he? I do not mind catching you, man. He's cold. Feel that fish. Crazy, isn't it? Fat stomach on him. I'm gonna throw him in a live well. Picture with the boys, man. Full moon, probably, dude. Oh, 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 what was that, dude? There ain't no way. That was the sound of a car dropping in the water, dude. I literally just screamed, dude. That startled me. <laughs> dude, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. I literally probably just killed that fish. It was a warm mouth, dude. Yeah, it was like a horrible cast. I don't even know what I was doing. And like my bait hit the water like a bowling ball and he just already had it. Probably killed that. That literally took him from over this side to that <laughs> side. Oh, oh. It's a mega too. another spot right now we do not have much time the sun is just coming down we really didn't have much time coming out here we had like just a few hours and it's been really tough i mean this thing is with a full moon guys i don't know if you guys know but what happens is there's a full moon last night and when there's a full moon at night those fish are straight feeding all night so when it comes you know to the next day those fish really aren't that hungry um, so they're going to be feeding usually on full moons like last night i'd usually be fishing you know in the dark with the top water just wrecking them 
but that was not the case. I ended up not doing that. But it makes the fishing a lot harder, and that's what we're dealing with right now. Oh, he's got me. Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, caught this little bass on the June bug speed crawl. There's a fish right there. Dude, did you see my rod? I got him. Yeah. No, there's a fish on it, dude. I promise you. He is on it. I got y'all, but yes. <laughs> I told you guys he's on there. You guys thought I was crazy. Well, Warmouth's winning this tournament today. I uh, got three of these, two of my fish, two bass. Dude, that tree just moved. He's running with it, you see that? Oh my God, did you see that? The tree literally, oh! It was a mud fish. I know I saw that tree move, dude, and he just rolled on it. Did you see him? What is that? Is that a bass? Oh, that's a crappie. We've literally caught every fish you, caught could, every fish. you could catch today. Got him, Bob. Look at that crappie, man. That's a big crappie, bro. A pretty decent one. Throw him on a sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so now we got a crappie, three war mouths, two bass, and two mudfish. What in the world? All right. All right, people. We're about to head back right now. Uh, we're gonna see if I can make a few crankbait casts real quick before we head in. It has been rough. I don't know what is going on. We were just catching everything but bass today. <laughs> but we're gonna run over there, see if we can make a few casts on the crankbait, maybe catch one more bass. Then we're gonna have to load her up on the trailer because that sun is going down quick. Uh, square build does not go deep, but. Chance, how many fish have we caught, right? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah? Yep. Oh, oh that's a decent one, dude. Yeah. Nah, I got him. That's a good one, though. I can tell you that. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, drop your head, Alan, Bob. Drop your head a little more. Oh, yeah. I honestly oh, might yeah. be a kind of a cool fish. What's up everybody is actually a few days after when I filmed this I have a few things I want to talk about including like moon phases and the whole full moon type deal because I think it'd be some information like me sharing my experience that you guys could take in. But first thing I would like to say is I'm sorry about not uploading on Friday. I usually upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, but this past week has just been hectic. I ended up uploading Wednesday and then I was going to upload Friday, but I had problems with my computer and... I was just super, super, super exhausted, so I ended up not posting Friday. Um, what ended up happening is I would probably not upload until 8 or 9 o'clock at night. I did not want to wait and end up posting that long, so I ended up posting the Sunday instead. But to sum everything up, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. First of all, thank you guys so much for the support. All the support lately has been amazing. You guys are awesome. I kind of want to talk about you know the whole full moon type deal and what kind of went on when we were on the river. So the night before was actually a full moon. I don't know if you guys know much about the moon phase of this, this, and that. I'm going to be sharing my experience with this and what I've seen because I know people will probably have a different opinion on this, but this is what I've experienced during a full moon. So the night before was a full moon and pretty much what's happening is those fish, that's the dinner bell. You know, they're eating, they're eating all night. I need to go film a video. If you guys want me to film a video on night fishing during a full moon, be sure to pepper that like button. Let me know in the comment section below because I'll be down to do that. But at night during a full moon, those fish are chomping. Those fish are eating like crazy. That is their you know, dinner bell, they're eating. So when it comes to the next day, usually, you know, you can pick, you know, fishing in the morning or fishing in the evening, whatever it is. And if you could layer it down, I wouldn't be fishing in the morning. I would rather fish in the evening, obviously, because in the morning they just got done eating at least the majority of the fish. And it's gonna be really hard to get a bite. And so what we chose is to go later in the day. And that was the only time we could go anyway. So it kind of ended up working out. The fishing was still tough. I mean, the fishing was, tough you could just tell the fish were not biting it was pretty rough um we caught a few bass obviously but then we caught a lot of other fish as well i mean we caught over 10 fish but it was just it, it was not all bass it wasn't what we were looking for um but we really had to slow down you could just tell that those fish were really slow and this is what i usually do after a full moon is i usually can't get a fish to chase a bait in general i just cannot it seems i usually can but i don't get as many bites so i'm usually slowing down 
As you can tell, I was just sitting out there throwing a Texas Rig Sanko, Allen Bob and Chance were throwing a Texas Rig Crawl, and we're just really slowing down, fishing all that cover on the river, especially since that tide was low, all those fish were on that cover. And it was just really hard to buy a bite, and I know the fish were there, that's the hardest thing is I knew the fish were where we were fishing, it's just it was not happening, and it was just super, super tough. So after a full moon, what I usually do is go out there, fish very, very slow, usually later in the afternoon because that's when those fish, you know, obviously when the sun's going down later in the afternoon, those fish are gonna be chomping again and that whole deal. And this depends on whether it's a full moon or if it's, you know, 90 to 95% of a full moon. I think this applies for both ways. To lay it down very easy and simple, during a full moon, those fish are feeding at night. So the next day may be a little rough for you, but I hope you guys took a two, uh, I hope you guys took a few tips out of that right there. I just kind of wanted to discuss that in my opinion on a full moon and what I do usually because it can be really rough and it can be frustrating if you don't know what's going on. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys want to see some more river videos or more videos off the boat, be sure to pepper that like button. This is actually right when I got my boat back. I don't know if you guys know, but I actually ended up blowing my lower unit and <laughs> so I finally got the old boat back. I'm going to be filming some more videos on that, so if you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know because I'm very excited to get back out on the river. It has been super cold lately. I think it's around 55 right now and it's crazy how the weather's changing and everything's adjusting now, but let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bears, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with us, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh